question. The opponent, the Mercer Bears. Mercer out of Macon, Georgia. A long way from Georgia to South ever playoff win in their first ever playoff appearance. 17 to seven over Gardner Webb to set up. So we are about to get started with round two of the FCS playoffs from Brookings, South Dakota. That was not what Mercer was looking for in the opening kickoff. Eight points per game. And they'll start out through the air, into the wind, deep and over the middle, incomplete. That pass intended. On the ground for the first time today. And there's a lot of balance in this offense and of the ball game. Radowski to the air. That pass is complete. It will not be a three and out. As Jackson Yankee on the reception. Motion. Play action. And it's complete. Back to Yankee. That's Jackson Yankee. Numbers from Yankee. One of three South Dakota State quarterbacks ever with 5,000 passing yards and 1,000 rushing yards. This time it's Isaiah Davis. Yards for Isaiah Davis. Empty backfield, and this one is complete to Jaden Yankee. Spins his way, still on his feet, almost to the 10 yard line. Missouri State. Direct snap this time to Davis, and Davis is wrapped up at the nine yard line after a short game. Formation. Empty backfield. Ranowski has time, now he's pressured. Throws across his body, and it's batted away. What a play. A 26-yard field goal. And it is good. Slipped it just inside that right upright with the Jackrabbits defense on the field. And Peavy's going to keep it himself on an option look. And he is popped at the 24-yard line. Peavy looking to throw. Pocket collapses around him. No flag. There it comes in from the sideline. It's going to be up to the penalty. Peavy going to keep it, and he'll dump it off to the sideline. Positive. Let's try and avoid letting Mercer pick up third downs. Swing pass caught one-handed out of the backfield. A good open field tackle there made by side of scrimmage. Bell in the backfield. Harper in motion. Peavy on the run, and he dumps it off to Harper, who's going to try and get there, and he just goes out of bounds. On the ground, Amar Johnson. Johnson, the junior from O'Fallon's playoffs. Gronowski looking to throw. Pocket collapsing around him on the run. And he completes it out to the 35, close to the session. Makes it to Davis. And now Gronowski just flips it forward. Look at him make the play to Davis, who fights his way out across the season. First down for the Jackrabbits. One there had to settle for a field goal on their first trip to the red zone. Overall red zone success this year for South Dakota State has been really good. That's Jackson Yankee knocked off his feet into this ball game. Five 100-yard rushing games this season. Gronowski keeping it himself, and that should be enough for the first down. So they are once again in the red zone, trying to go two for two with points in the early part of this game as Davis cuts it up the field and down to the 10 yard line. Goes to the top of the screen. Gronowski, quarterback draw. He gets down to the 10. He gets close to the five. That's a first down on the quarterback. McHarg, I'm Richard Cross. Thanks for being with us. This FCS playoff game. Isaiah Davis onto the ground, bulldozes his way into the end zone for a touchdown. And the extra point are good, and that makes it 10 0. Isaiah Davis with his 12th rushing touch. He and Devron Harper, two electric players in the pass game. Here's Carter Peavy, who can hurt you with his feet. He had a 75 yard touchdown run. Back. Morgan in motion. The give is to Davis underneath, and he picks his way across the 40 down to the 39-yard line. That Kids, I mean, helping out in their class, it's a stud for the South Dakota State team. Davis, well, what vision? I mean, everything is going to the left. He sees the both the guys on the left side. Second and 10. Change of pace in the backfield as Amar Johnson is into the game, and he fights his way. 
for Mercer, and that one came via a face mask penalty. Lamar Johnson once again. Stacked. But it's the 12th consecutive FCS playoff appearance. This pass is caught by Jackson and Yankee. Edge of the season. The honorable mention, all Missouri. Is good, and it's now 17 to nothing. 8.46 to go for Bears. Handoff on first down. That's Al Wooten. Had a good first down run out to the 20. Carter Peavy keeps it himself. Able to avoid a big hit this time. It goes down at the third. To My guy, go make a play. To Ty James, you do, absolutely. This is underneath. That's Harper. And he slithers his way out across the 35 to the 30. Harper in motion. It's an end around, a flip to James. He gets a block. Gets to the 30. Flag comes in late as Harper goes all the way for that penalty, setting him back there. Peavy keeps it. It's not a whole lot there. He picks up two to the third. Harper in motion. PV with time. He completes it to Ty James. I beg your pardon, that's not Ty James. That is E for Mercer. They swing it out of the backfield, but a good open field tackle. That was Parker Robol on the catch. Drew Chronic told us that he thought there could have been a fourth on the catch. Jaden Yonke trying to run away from people. Jackson Yankee in motion to the slot at the top of the screen. To the air. That is Yankee on the catch. Breaks tackles. Spins his way across the 15 and he's dropped at the 12 yard. Back to the line of scrimmage. South Dakota State leading it 17 to nothing. Gronowski decides to keep it himself and he'll run out of. Was a graduate assistant at FAU. On the ground, Isaiah Davis all the way into the end zone. Didn't look like there was a whole lot there that he made it happen. With Jimmy Rogers, after four years away from South Dakota State, he came back first as a position coach, then as the defensive coordinator. Four yard game for Wooten on first down. Peavy looking to set something up. Buy some time going back to his left, trying to turn the corner. He'll have positive yardage, but he has semifinals. And they've been there in five of the last six years, of course, coming off of last year's national championship. Kronowski, wise Illinois. And in 2022, he was on Isaiah Davis across midfield and powers his way to the 48. Brother. Said his why is his brother Ryan. Kronowski flushed from the pocket and again slides going with Mark and his sister Sarah, big fans of Ryan and Ryan, both of their bigger biggest fans as well. Co complete to Isaiah Davis since they played that in the, the COVID spring season, got a national championship last year. Third down and five on the ground. Isaiah Davis, he's going to turn it into a touchdown. Third rushing touchdown of the game. South Dakota State go to the ground. I mean, so many times, third and five, third and seven, third and nine, teams are throwing it. Why do they have First so much possession? Time? Another big touchdown run from Isaiah Davis. Missouri Valley Conference in the CAA. And I thought that was an interesting way to kind of couch that and talk about the development of their program, leading to more recognition of what's happening. Defense. First down efficiency maybe could have been a little bit better. First down scramble from Gronowski. And then the last one, the red zone trips. Gronowski with time. He's taking a couple of shots down the field today. He's not been able to connect on one. He takes a big shot himself. Offensive lines push. They'll have a chance against the Jackrabbits. Gronowski looking to go to the air. And that's a completion at midfield. Another catch for Jack. Just across the midfield stripe. Amar Johnson. Davis, the 12 straight FCS playoff appearances is the second longest streak in the country. This one tipped into the air and it's intercepted. Ken Stanley comes down with it. To Certainly to start a drive and Peavy goes to the air. And that one is intercepted. Going the other.
other way. Jared Dupree's trying to take it to the house. A deep. And that ball was. And then Jared Dupree's trying to sell it. PV gets outside the pocket, lobs it down the field, and it is. This time it's intercepted. Touchdown pass. He's not been picked off either. And he's going to take off on a quarterback draw, and he is dropped at the 35 yard line by Thomas. Mason of the Jackrabbits offense facing third and four here. He gets to the outside, looking down the field, throws it back across his body late and over the middle, trying with no return. Peavy, lob shot down the right sideline, and that ball is hauled in by Ty James. Sioux Falls about 45 miles from Brookings. The run on the ground, gonna bring up third down and about three and three. This ball batted at the line of scrimmage and incomplete. Trying to get it to Ty James on a quick see the indoor facility. And it's really a nice setup for this South Dakota State team. This pass from Mason is cool. Tight windows, yards after catch. Two other guys that I think will get a look at the next level. On the ground, Amar Johnson. Look at the speed in the open field. Trying to outrun everybody. He's dropped from behind. Furman a winner over Chattanooga, 26-7. Montana State and North Dakota State by Isaiah Davis and his 117 yards. Johnson, if he gets into the end zone here, he will get to 100, but he will not on this play. Toss into the end zone incomplete. Trying to get it to Zach Hine. 19 yard try, splits the uprights, and it's now 34 0 for Mercer. And off to the outside. Good hold there on first down out to the 30 yard line. Micah Bell, this game at the four minute mark of the third quarter, looks as if he's going to go the rest of the way. Swing pass out of the backfield. Out to the 25 big time. Trying to go straight forward. They get the surge with the offensive line for the first down. A lot of veterans on this team for nine minutes to play. Amar Johnson. You know, one of the things that also time of possession differential. South Dakota State has absolutely controlled this game. Good throw and catch. Devin Cole Jr. Ball comes today, but for just 62 yards. They just haven't been able to get anything down the field. PV working, trying to make something happen. And again, good coverage. Tied at 14 apiece. On the ground, big run. This time it's Angel Johnson looking for the exclamation point. Angel Johnson to the house. Ivory one play, 80 yards, 13 seconds. The extra point is good, and it's together multiple seasons. Benefited some from the COVID year. There's veterans all over the field for St. South Coast State. PV able to run for the first buy into your system and then have that effort year in and year out. That is hard to do. That's what being a program builder is all about. First down catch to Parker Robel. Better job of it than this staff at South Coast State. Peavy rolling to his right, and that ball is nearly intercepted. Out of the headset. Mercer appears to be okay with not running another play. And play solid defense on the back end. And it's another big win in the postseason for this Jack Rapp. South Dakota State advances. They will meet Villanova, the eight overall seed, next weekend here in.